If you guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new video. So it is 6pm. I've had a brief look already at the content and wow we have got a lot of content coming today boys. So if you guys could drop a like I'd appreciate that. Drop something if you're new. We're getting the daily notifications. Apologies I need to uh, remember to turn off my phone. But let's jump straight on into the 6pm objectives. We've got an SBC as well. A lot of content today boys and honestly summer heat. Let me know what you guys think but this might go down as the best promo we've ever had in my opinion. In terms of how rewarding it is for us grinders, like RTG players, it's so, so sick. So, we have got a Summer Heat Ebra. Wow, let's see how easy it is to do. If he's very easy, that's going to be good fodder. Um, but also, I mean, it's just fun to... Hopefully, he's 5-star, five 5-star. Five I don't know what his skill moves and weak foot is. Well, he does have 5-star skills. So, assist in two separate rival matches using min 5-star skill moves. So, that's very, very easy. Don't even need a win for that. Happy days. Uh, scoring three separate rival matches using players with min four star weak foot. Honestly, a lot of your attacks will have four star, five star, five star, five star even at this stage of the game. So you can do them in the same games. Score 15 goals in rivals using Serie A players. I mean, that's going to be kind of hard for me because I get a lot of quits. Hopefully we don't get quits though. But score 50 is very, very easy. And scoring eight separate rival wins using Serie A forwards. So boys, honestly... For a 95 e bro, that is unbelievable. I'll have a look at the cards at the end, by the way. I'm going to show you briefly how to do it as fast as possible. There's not really any last fee for those, like some glitches to do it <coughs> in friendlies, but this fee for it's more like you can use training cards if you relegate down. Relegating down is nowhere near as good now because everyone's already relegated down. Um, it's a bit of a pick and mix whether you get a sweaty player or not. You do come across a lot of sweat in Div 9 still, uh, but if you wanted to drop down, you do come across some bad players still. And the uh, training cards obviously help a lot as well. So that's the E, bro. We'll have a look at his in-games afterwards. Now we've got a Kubo. And I've actually heard very good stuff about Kubo's uh, Future Stars card. And I actually signed this guy in career mode. And he reached like 90 summit rated. And he was so sick. Very agile. Good body type as well. So this 94 is going to be sick. So for this, we need to assist with a cross in two separate squad battles or rivals. Using players with min, four star weak foot. The crossing objective is back. We only need to score two crosses though, which isn't too bad. Uh, we've played with min force our weak foot, so that's fine. Scoring three separate score battles or rivals using players with min force our skills. So again, if you've just got attackers with force star, force star, you could match a lot of these together. So if you've got your Syria attackers, I'll probably go with like a Syria, a couple of Syria attackers with force star, force star, and we need a five star skiller. So probably Douglas Costa. He's got three star weak foot. Maybe if you can get the foot worth to Douglas Costa, maybe treat yourself. Uh, and he'll cover a lot of these bases. So that's pretty sick. And then assist 15 goals using La Liga players. So that's completely fine as well. I might go with like a, a La Liga right hand side. Um, yeah, I'll go over a La Liga right hand side most likely with four star, four star. Maybe Odegaard on the right actually. He's got five star skills. And then for the last one, scoring nine separate squad battles, wins or rivals using La Liga midfielders. So, I imagine for you guys that are in high divisions, that's probably the one that might be a bit tricky um, using La Liga midfielders. One thing I'll recommend for that is if you get an attacker, so for example, if you get Messi, he starts as a right wing. If you put him down to a right mid, he classes as a midfielder. If you get a striker, let's say Football de Rodrigo, if you make him a cam, he classes as a La Liga midfielder. But honestly, boys, them two objectives are so sick. I'm looking forward to seeing what Ebra's in-game starts are like. Because um, the... Was it the flashback last year? Yeah, the flashback was so, so sick. But the meta's changed a lot from last year. So that's what we've got in terms of objectives. Um, I'll have a look at all the uh, in-game stats at the very end. So let's have a look at the SBC. So we have got a new SBC. We have got a Summer Heat Malang Sa inspired by his... Foot birthday version. Does that mean he's got five star week for? I think his foot birthday had five star week for. I'm pretty sure it did. Maybe it didn't. I'm not too sure. Six foot, low high work rates, left footed. What a card. French as well. Very easy to link. You could link him to the uh, the Furlan Mendy. I'm sure, you guys have got a lot of icons to link him to as well. I'm going to say two eighty fours, an eighty three, and an eighty four with high chemistry again though, and fodder's expensive. If you can craft that, I, I mean, I think that's very good. Um, an 84, I don't actually know how much an 84 rated team is. Uh, with 75 chemistry. Maybe like 100k? 
I want to say 100k, but I might be overestimating that. I want to say that that might be about 200k, maybe maybe like 150 to 250. That's just a complete guess. So I think that's pretty sick. Uh, there's a lot of centre backs. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already got your centre backs and your defence sorted out. Defence more than defence and CDMs. I've got so much of. Um, so I'm fine with. I don't really care about Sar. Uh, we got the Firmino yesterday. I don't know if we've got much more. I've not done the Firmino by the way. I decided not to do it. I've heard mixed feelings about him. Um, uh, best of release. Best of release one party bag. Wait, the release this again? What the hell? What rated team is it? The 83 rated team again? What? That party bag was an absolute scam, by the way. I watched so many and just scam after scam. There's probably only like five, if that, players that will actually go anywhere near your team. Even on your bench. Like, most of them won't even get your bench. So I'm not going to do that, I don't think. Uh, born to play, we've got today. And uh, that is it, boys. But today's content, objectives especially, I am very happy with. So let's go over and look at their in-game stats. By the way, boys, I want to quickly say, this Bruno Fernandes, hands down, might be the best finisher I have used on uh, on any FIFA. Um, I played two games. Did I play two games? Oh, I played a squad battle game, that's why. I play him at CDM in this team. But um, you're probably wondering, I've only played two games. The 92, I used the 92 for about 11 games. If you can get to the 92 even, if you can't bother to get to the 94, the 92, let me quickly show you. Um, a lot of these were rage quits as well. I know I'm playing in a low division, but one thing I'll say, his finishing is outrageous. One of the best finishers I've used. The shot power you can feel insanely, like, insanely well. It's, it's such a good card. I didn't really like the 90 or the 91, but the 92, I can't even explain it. Uh, the 5 star weak foot might have been a little factor, but if you can get to the 92, highly recommend it. So let's have a quick look at Ebra. Ebra. Let's have a look. 95. So what has he got? He's got 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot, 6 foot 5. Okay. Medium low. 73 star. This is purely a card that you just use because you love him in real life, really, I think. A lot of people love Ibra, so I'm sure a lot of you guys will just use him just for the fun. Um, for me personally, yeah, he's getting flogged straight to an SBC. There's not a chance I'm using that. I don't really care about Ibra too much. I know a lot of people love Ibra though, so a lot of people will, will love that in their starting team, I imagine. And he's strong links to Kessie, doesn't he? Ibra's the same club as Kessie, so he could put together a little fun, uh, fun little team there. Uh, so Ibra and Kuba. So Kuba I know is going to be sick. But the uh, the upgrade. Let's see what he's got. Has he got 5 star weak foot? I can't actually remember. I don't know what his normal card is. is it 72 rated. That's not him. Kuba. He's even lower rated than 72. He's 70 rated. So that was his future stars. He's 94 card. 4 star, 4 star. High, medium, left footed. 5 foot 8. Wow. Wow. What a card. No traits. What a cat. I'm not even going to complain. I'm not even going to complain. I was going to say there's a lot of um, a lot of cards similar to this. I'm sure a lot of you guys have got similar-ish cards. But wait a second. Let me just think of my team. I don't have a right back. I was going to say maybe I could. I mean maybe I could go Furlan Mendy and then him at right mid. But I, I really like Sancho to be fair. So Kubo will probably be SBC fodder for me. Four star, four star. I don't... I, tr I like to have 5 star skillers if I can. Um, but yeah, I think that keyboard is so, so sick. So let me know what you, th you guys think of today's content. Honestly, I think it's absolutely sick. And uh, yeah, honestly, it's so sick because uh, of how easy it is to do as well, man. Like The Ebra is so easy to do, so, so he's going to be 95 fodder for me. And the Kubo as well. I'm not really too fussed about the actual SBC, the Malang Sar. But um, the objective is absolutely solid from here again. It's got to go down as one of the best promos. And I'm going to open these two packs. I got this from the uh, season objective. So let's see if we can get something. And uh, my club's actually stacked. So I'm just waiting for an SBC to drop. That I'm like, yo, let's do it. I almost did Firmino. But I don't know. I love Maras that much. I, I just can't afford to drop Maras. That's why I didn't do it. How are we going to get a board? We are going to get a board. Can we end on a walkout? We cannot. And on something good, Brazilian 84. There we go. He's going to up towards Ebra, boys. I don't even have to go out and buy him. I'm pretty sure he's like 15k. 
He was a couple of days ago. Anyway, let's have a quick look at SBC fodder. Let's see if it's still. I know he's uh, untradeable, but. He's down a little bit. 12k is still outrageous. Outrageous. So, there we go, boys. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you've got any questions, do let me know. And let me know your thoughts on today's content. So, anyway, boys, if you could drop a like. I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.